Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Go and we are continuing the GS5 course on Assam. Before starting, I want to tell you that you will get the notes from the description section. So that will be at attached in PDF form. Today we will be discussing about the population of Assam that falls under the geography portion. So as we know, Assam may be called as the epitome of India so far its population is concerned because it has almost all the ethno-linguistically major groups of people found in the country. As per 2011 census, the state has a population of 31.1 million which is about 2.6% of the country's total population. The, the present population of Assam belonging to various ethno-linguistic origin has been built up through a long period of immigration. Gotike Azi Homo Junbur different linguistic and ethnic groups would a Kazai Hebrew immigration prehistoric period of price start Hugosil. The prehistoric period Bulikole, Hetu period Juntu history to extract Kuribulu Kundhona writing source Nasil, Aru Anate Juntu historic period Hu Hetu Ami Zotesto writing Paisu, Jarpora Ami history extract Kuribo Paisu. Etiami different phases of immigration were silent. Firstly, the first ever group of people to settle in this region in the prehistoric past is the Monkhamer speaking Austroasiatics, who, uh, whose descendants are today identified as the Khasis and Jaintia. Etia Austroasiatic Bulikole, simply the people speaking languages of South and Southeast Asia. This Mon Khmer people were followed by the immigrants from Tibet, South China and Southeast Asia who spoke the Tibeto-Burmese language. They mostly belong to the Sino-Tibetan family of Mongoloids. In Sino-Tibetan family of Mongoloids, we have two different languages. One is Tibeto-Burmese and one is Tibeto-Siamese. The third large immigration are the uh, Indo-Aryans from the west of the Ganga plain. They brought the Vedic culture and practiced Hindu religion. And again in 1205 AD, uh, another group of Indo-Aryans professing Islam started settling in this region. They came there as the soldiers, craftsmen of the invading armies of Sultans of Delhi and Nawabs of Bengal. Juntu mai agote religious movement or chapter ko isilu je bhaktiar khaljir kotha. To the end hone jathesto bol kisuman soldiers aisil, craftsmen aisil, trade and commerce purpose or aisil ahi pela yate settle hoygol. They were followed by the Tayahum people in 1228 AD under Saulung Sukafa. And this people have ruled over 600 years in Assam. Following the Tayahum peoples in 17th, 18th, and 19th century, there come five small groups of Thai people. They are Khamti, Khamyang, Aiton, Phake, and Turung, who have settled in eastern Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. However, after 1826 AD, that is after annexation of Assam by Britishers and after the Yandabu Treaty, the Britishers come here along with Bengalis, North Indians, Rajasthanis, Nepalis who were engaged in jobs associated with administration, trade and commerce, then uh, law and order maintaining personnel and various jobs. And from about 1850 AD, British tea companies brought in thousands of people from Jharkhand, Bengal, Odisha, Chhattisgarh to work in the tea gardens as laborers. However, a major influx can be seen from about 1818 1880 um, when a stream of landless Muslim pigeons from East Bengal, that is today Bangladesh, who have came to Assam and settled in the flood plains of Brahmaputra. The last and the major wave of immigration came to Assam following the partition of uh, partition in 1947. So, partition of Pisot Hindu Bangladeshi Asil, Juntu East Pakistan Asil, Litia, the Tapra Ohomole migrate Kurisil. So, all this uh, immigration resulted in a socio cultural scene which now comprises of 
115 constitutional communities and 17 SCs and 31 STs. So let us see the total population of Assam. According to 2011 census, the population of Assam was about 3 crore 11 lakh 69,272. There is a rise of 18.85% over the population of the state in 2001 and there are 954 females per 1000 males. Of all the districts, the Nogao has the highest number of population uh, that is about 28 lakhs 26,000. However, if we see the growth of population in Assam, Assam has been experiencing a rapid growth of population since its annexation by the Britishers. Because Britishers had a vast amount of immigration and say nearby states or pora administration or kam kori bo kane. Because first census asil Assam or that is in is 1872. According to that, uh, population of Assam was about 22 lakhs. And if we see uh, the census of 1901, the population became 32 lakhs 89,680. So, in 1901 or 2011, there was a major difference because population grew by 8 times from 3.29 million in 1901 to 31.1 million in 2011. Between 1901 to 1951, Assam experienced an increase in population of 144% against the country's 51% increase. While subsequently, during the period of 1951 to 2011, Assam saw a growth of 232% against the country's growth of 184%. So besides immigration from the prehistoric period, there are several other reasons too. Firstly, the huge immigration from Bangladesh during 1961 to 1971, that is the Bangladesh Revolution, Liberation War. And then secondly, the health and hygiene condition has improved since independence following a check on the epidemics like cholera, kalajar, dysentery and smallpox, etc. And thirdly, the social awareness and literacy being low among the people's family planning measures have not been adopted. Again, the practice of holding marriages of girls at the tender age of 12 to 13 years, which leads to greater number of children. However, the major problem is the expectation to have a male child. So they may continue to add number of progeny until a son is born. Lastly, in some communities, there is a practice of polygamy, which leads to larger family within a short time. So poly polygamy is simply the practice of having more than one partner at the same time. So these are some reasons for the rapid growth of population in Assam. However, there has been significant variation in the district wide growth of population in Assam. During 2001-2011, the district of Dhubri experienced highest rate of growth uh, that is of about 24.4%. Now, if we consider the rural to urban distribution, Assam with lack of industrialization is still more rural. So, urban city will to the rest of Kome. About 86% of the people are living in villages. And Assam comprises of about 26,395 villages. The size of a village mainly depends upon the availability of suitable agricultural land and the state of transport and communication. The small size of large number of villages has affected the socio-economic condition of the rural areas of Assam. So because they individually uh, lack the threshold population to have a school, post office, bank, hospital etc. they remain backward. So let us come to the demographic characteristics of population of Assam which is the most important part of this population chapter. So firstly we will discuss about the sex ratio. Sex ratio is simply expressed as the number of females per thousand males. A good uh, sex ratio reflects socio-economic stability and welfare of a population. 
এটা গুড সেক্স রেশিও বলে কলে এই তো থাউজেন্ড মেলস বা থাউজেন্ড ফিমেলস টাইপ হব লাগে কিন্তু দ্যাট ইজ এন আইডিয়াল সিচুয়েশন হাও এভার সেক্স রেশিও টু অলপ হাই হওয়া টু ভাল সো এস পার সেন্সাস টু থাউজেন্ড ইলেভেন ইন্ডিয়া হ্যাড সেক্স রেশিও অফ নাইন ফর্টি বাট দ্য সেম ইন আসাম ইজ স্লাইটলি হায়ার এট নাইন ফিফটি ফোর হাইয়েস্ট সেক্স রেশিও ইজ নাইন সেভেন্টি ফোর ইজ রেকর্ডেড বাই মরিগাঁও ইট মে বি সেইড দ্যাট এ লার্জ নম্বর অফ মেল মেম্বার্স অফ দ্য ডিস্ট্রিক্ট গো আউট ইন সার্চ অফ লিভলিহুড এন্ড পারহেপস ইন দ্য এবসেন্স অফ এনি ইন্ডাস্ট্রি দ্য ডিস্ট্রিক্ট রিসিভস এ লিটল মেল এমপ্লয়ি ফ্রম আউটসাইড সিমিলারলি ইফ উই কনসিডার দ্য সেম রিজনস তাহলে আমি দেখা পাঁ যে কামরূপ মেট্রোত যথেষ্ট লো সেক্স রেশিও আছে দ্যাট ইজ এবাউট নাইন followed by darang that is uh, about 923 so let us move uh, towards the next portion of uh, demographic characteristics that is the age com- composition so far uh, age composition is concerned india is a country of young population in assam uh, 14.47% of total population belong to 0 to 6 years of age group and the 0 to 15 years belong to 37.44 percent the working age population comprises about 56.75 percent and above 60 years of age it accounted for 5.85 percent so it can be said as a good demographic character if we see the social composition as discussed earlier that the immigrants from different ethno linguistic social cultural and economic and geographical backgrounds came to build up the present population of the state so ethno linguistically people of assam can be divided into austroasiatic the tibeto chinese and the indo aryan groups so i got them when i call the austroasiatic people are those who speak the similar languages to south and southeast asia so in assam khasi jayantia people living in the meghalayan foothills of kamrup and marigao hamren subdivision and north kachar hills belong to the austroasiatic group and in the tibeto chinese group we can divide it to further more two categories that is the tibeto burman speaking people and tibeto siamese speaking people etia tibeto burman buli kole starting from the northern burma to entire northeast region including tibet so uh, the tibeto burman speaking people in assam are the boro missing tiwa karbi dimasa and rava etc আকো যদি আমি টিবেটো সিয়ামিজ বলে কোম তেতিয়া হলে যুন্তু আমি আগতে ইমিগ্রেশন চাই আইসিল যে সেভেন্টিন এইটিন নাইনটিন সেঞ্চুরি যুন্তু তাই আহোম সকল আইসিল যুন্ত আহোম খামতি খামিয়াং আইটম তুরুং এন্ড ফকে এক্সেট্রা এগেইন দ্য ইন্দো আরিয়ান গ্রুপস অফ পিপল অফ দ্য স্টেট ফাউন্ড টু বি ডিভাইডেড ইন্টু ফোর লিঙ্গুইস্টিক গ্রুপ দ্যাট ইজ দ্য আসামিজ স্পিকিং নন ট্রাইবাল uh then the bengali speaking then the hindustani speaking and the nepali speaking gotike junbu das kolita sharma ebor tar bahire junbu belek belek language kwa manu ase they were mostly uh, the indo aryans now apart from ethno linguistic division there are many other religious social cultural and economic criteria thus in order to bring all the citizens of the country into a homogeneous level constitution india constitution of india has listed the backward communities of the country under the scs and sts there are now 17 uh, scheduled castes in assam the scheduled caste population account for 6.85% of the total population and the highest proportion is found in kachar followed by karimganj Similarly there are many scheduled tribes in Assam of them the Boro Missings Karbi Rava Dimasa Garo Tiwa the Sunwal Kochari also called as the Thengal Kocharis then Kuki Tripuri are numerously large got again complete social composition to my mains perspective or pra jothesto important bhali bhabu so let us come to the religious composition 
Assam has a substantial number of population belonging to each of the major religion pursued in India. Besides, a large population side by side pursues their own tribal religious rites and rituals. As per census 2011, out of 26.66 million people, Hindus account for 64.9%, Muslims 30.9%, Christians 3.7%, Buddhist 0.2%, Sikhs 0.1%, Jains 0.1% and others 0.1%. However, the people following different religions are not uh, evenly distributed over the different districts. So this much is sufficient for the religious composition. Here we have demographic characters to literacy and various settlements and various ethnic problems in which we have to do a better class So if you have any doubts, please comment section and thanks for watching